In the last video, I mentioned the need for an audio switch uh, if I wanted both transmit and receive functionality on this ESP32 uh, radio. So on this video, I'm, I'm going to walk through uh, briefly describing the audio switch in the radio, and there's a sort of a module diagram right here. Uh, I'll give some background on the CD4066 CMOS quad bilateral switch, which uh, is what I'm planning on using as that audio switch. And then I'll demo both a single pole single throw and a single pole double throw audio switch. And then finally I'm going to wrap it up by driving the single pole double throw switch uh, with an ESP32 microcontroller. Now to complete the audio switch I really need a double pole double throw but that really is a simple extension of the single pole double throw. Looking at this diagram, uh, this is in the transceiver where I need that audio switch. And it's because there are two separate audio pathways, one for receive and one for transmit. So on receive, the uh, stereo audio, the IQ uh, audio from the receive mixer passes through the PMOD board, gets processed in the ESP32, and then gets sent back out and finally out through the speaker. So this is the receive pathway. On transmit, we have the audio from the microphone passes into the PMOD board, gets processed in the ESP32, um, and then goes out through the PMOD board and through to the transmis transmit mixer for, uh, for transmission. So you can see this uh, part in the dotted line in the middle, that's where I need that double pole, double throw, uh, controlled switch and that's where the CD4066 uh, comes in. Now I could really achieve this by having two distinct PMOD boards so I could have a PMOD board for transmit purposes, a PMOD board for receive purposes, have them controlled separately with separate I2S lines from the microcontroller uh, but I think uh, this is something I've wanted to do, to do for a while. Uh, I don't have two PMOD boards anyway, so even if I wanted that. And I think this is a kind of a simpler uh, approach to uh, the need. The CD4066 is a quad bilateral CMOS switch, and I'll include a link to uh, the datasheet you're looking at here uh, below. Each of the four switches in the package are independently controlled, and they can pass digital or audio signal. Now know that any signal that you pass between uh, must have a voltage between VDD and VSS. Uh, so when we get to the circuit below, you'll see that those audio signals are mid-rail biased. So here's the uh, pinout diagram uh, blown up a little bit, and you can see the uh, four switches here. So we've got SIG uh, A out and in, SIG B out and in, and then SIG C and D out and in. And uh, they're controlled by these control pins here, A, B, C, and D. Now, note that the control voltage uh, that you need to apply to those uh, control pins varies depending on VDD. So at 5 volts, the control voltage is around about 3.5 volts. At 10 volts, it's 7 volts, and so on. Now, for the purposes of the demo today, I'll be using 5 volts as VDD, and I'll be uh, biasing the signal at the mid rail, two and a half volts. I'm not sure that five volts uh, would be enough in my radio. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the uh, kind of the swing on the output voltage is, but uh, so I might have to uh, I might have to uh, sort of vary the control voltage there. But uh, for the purposes of the day, we'll be using five volts as VDD. Okay, so here's the uh, single pole, single throw uh, setup here. Uh, here's the incoming signal here. Decoupling cap. Here's my uh, mid rail bias here, and uh, it's 10k and 22k, but this 22k is actually in parallel with this 22k on the output, uh, which gives 10k, uh, which is then forms the mid rail bias. So the signal then passes into pin 11 of the CD4066, which is SIG D in, and then on the output side, I've got. Uh, uh, pin 10 is the output. There's a uh, 22k uh, resistor right here, and then finally a decoupling cap, one microfarad to the out. The control signal basically is a simple uh, pulled to ground signal here, uh, a push button here, and then when the push button is pressed, it connects 5 volts through to pin 12. 
So let's have a look at that in close up on the circuit here so you can see that uh, for yourself. Um, so here's the CD4066 right here. Here's that push button. Here's the incoming signal here, which uh, I've got a one kilohertz tone coming from the signal generator. And then on the output side, it simply goes off to, uh, to a, a speaker. So uh, pretty unimpressive uh, when you push the button here. It connects uh, five volts to pin 12. And you can see when I press it, it turns the switch on and the audio signals will pass straight through. So let's move on to next, the uh, single pole double throw. Okay, so here's the modified circuit for single pole double throw. I actually uh, got it wrong to start with. Um, so just to describe the circuit, it's kind of similar to the last one, but now I've got two input lines coming in, mid-rail biased. Uh, just the test setup here is uh, uh, input one is one kilohertz, input two is three kilohertz. Um, and they go into uh, pin 11, D in, and pin 8, C in, respectively. And then uh, this is uh, a different part of the circuit here. So basically, uh, this switch here is the same as before, uh, but I've added this transi transistor, which acts as a simple not gate. So when uh, the switch is depressed, get 5 volts here, grounded here on control C and uh, control D and control C respectively. And then when the switch is released, transistor's off in that case and five volts passes through to here. So basically either control D is turned on or control C is turned on, but never both together. And then finally, the outputs of D and C are tied together and pins 10 and nine through the same output that we had before. So 22K resistor there one microfarad cap, and then out. So let's have a look at the uh, circuit now. So here's the, uh, here's the circuit, and please excuse me, it's a bit of a mess, uh, but uh, basically uh, the kind of circuit's pretty much the same as before. I've added the, in the input for the other line, um, and then here's the, uh, here's the uh, uh, 2N3904, it's, which is that, uh, acting as that not gate. And then on the... Um, just panning up to the signal generator. You can see here I've got channel two is at three kilohertz. Channel one is at one kilohertz. And I've got the output uh, sent to my oscilloscope here. So let's uh, turn the speaker up. So that's that one kilohertz tone. As I press the button, there's three kilohertz. Okay, so that's the uh, single pole double throw switch completed. Excuse the beep there. Uh, what I'll do now is instead of controlling this with a switch and a transistor, I'm gonna tr control pins 12 and six with uh, an ESP32. And I'll basically just uh, have two GPIOs, one that's, uh, th that turns this guy off and on, one that turns this guy off and on. So that's coming right up. Just one quick thing to note if you, if you want to do your own experimentation. Uh, any of these control pins that you don't have connected, make sure you tie them to ground. Um, this circuit actually wasn't working until I tied pins 5 and 13, which are the control pins for A and B. Uh, if, I had, if I didn't tie these to ground, these, uh, th this pin here would end up floating at around about 0.6 of a volt, which would kind of screw up all this control circuitry here. So anyway, any unwanted control pins, tie them to ground. Okay, so here's the uh, finished circuit here. Um, just to explain, so this is a ESP32 S2. And uh, as I mentioned before, I need five volt control signals here. So I'm running uh, the, uh, the GPIO 39 and 40 through this level converter here. And that converts a 3.3 vo volt signal to a 5 volt signal. And then I'm running that into uh, pins 12 and 6, as I did before. And then the rest of the setup is pretty much the same. Uh, the only other thing, I've just got an LED on pin 10 here um, to, uh, to, to show when it's, uh, when it's toggling off and on. So let's uh, plug all that in, get it going. And first, I'll plug the... Uh, 
And we'll just turn the volume up. And you can hear the uh, alter alternatively. Let me just turn that down a little bit. Alternatively, the one kilohertz tone and the three point uh, three kilohertz tone uh, controlled by this guy talking to the CD4066. So that's pretty much all I wanted to do in this. I uh, thought you might be interested in this uh, experimentation. I've been meaning to do uh, play around with the CD4066 for a little while. Um, now, obviously, this is single pole double throw. I need double pole double throw to uh, for the audio switching that I mentioned before. Uh, but that uh, should be a straightforward extension. Anyway, uh, more to come on the transmitter uh, and so on in the following videos.